Hello all. We are going to see how we are going to install open form on Windows platform. So before that we have to first install VirtualBox. To install VirtualBox, first go to any web browser and search openform.org. Or else you can just type how to install open form in Windows. Here we are showing how it is installed on a Windows 10. If you are using an earlier version of Windows it will be available in openform.org now we have reached openform.org and scrolling down you can see all the instructions of how to install openform so in order to install in linux we have to run linux on a windows platform using a virtual box so the first step is to install this virtual box So now we are going to see how we have to install virtual machine, virtual box. So go to the virtual box downloads, the link is available on open form. Now the download has been started. Now let us see how we have to install it. Go to the downloads first. You can see the exe file. Right click on the file and run as administrator. VirtualBox has been already installed on this device otherwise it will be showing three options on the upcoming screen install, repair and modify now as this is already installed it will show only two options modify and repair so in your system you can directly choose the option of install follow the instructions on the uh, screen here it will be having one more option install install repair remove so you choose install and install virtual box on your system after completing the setup procedures You can click on finish and exit from the setup dialog box. Now we are going to the second step uh, that, that's the installation of the Ubuntu. So uh, for that uh, click on the virtual box that's installed and click on the new tab now i am going to the name that operating system that i am going to install as ubuntu trial now i am going to choose the path that we want to install ubuntu i am going to install in the local disk d i had already created a folder called open form and i am selecting that folder for installation now i am choosing that ram size i am giving it as 3 gb and click next now now we are going to create the hard disk uh, we are creating virtual hard disk at the fixed size and now we will be able to create the size for that i am giving a 30 gb space 
and now click on create and it will take some time for creating now uh, it's over and the ubuntu trial is being created in uh, click on to that or right click and click start uh, for installation purpose of the operating system now click on the path from where we want to mount the disk we had already in, uh, downloaded that ubuntu software uh, that's a software that's been downloaded click on to that and mount that double click to mount now we are going to start the installation process this ubuntu operating system can be downloaded from that step uh, we are from that website that we had shown already for installation purpose of the open form that we can find the link for downloading that ubuntu for the virtual box now we are going to install ubuntu now click continue now the click on the option erase disk and install ubuntu uh, and click install now click continue now we want to choose the location uh, that's india then click continue and after that uh, we want to choose the language so the by default that will be english so this double click on the english us double click on that on that so here we won't be able to see that continue option uh, because that will be trimmed inside the screen uh, so just i am typing that uh, virtual box name the name of that operating system and i am giving some passwords also now we won't be able to see that continue button so what we want to do is that after giving the confirmation password just use tab key to move on to next tab so now i am just pressing the tab key now back then next one will be continue okay so keep in mind uh, next to the back key will be continue so we can see the back key at the lower end portion of the screen and just to the right of that we can find the continue so just use tab key for navigation purpose and then once the continue key is reached press enter now we are moving on to the third step for installing the open form now i am moving on to the previous website that i had shown and now we want to go to the fifth step that's install open form on the ubuntu guest os click on to that and we will be getting another page where the step by step procedures for installing the open form will be given okay now i am going to click on to that and now another window appears yeah now we can find uh, several steps that's been given in this page uh, there will be a lot of installation problems then uh, there will be some procedures for new installation so now we are going to follow the new installation procedures that uh, uh, for our ubuntu software now i am going to open the ubuntu in the virtual box so just double click on to that or just click right click and select start oh, yeah now it's open now uh, select type terminal and uh, select the terminal uh, where we want to give the commands for installing the open form yeah now one more thing we want to keep in mind is that uh, the terminal is in the ubuntu that's another inside the virtual box so we don't have any connection with this browser because that's been in the windows platform so we won't be able to copy paste the commands in the terminal because uh, both are working in different 
operating systems or we can see this as the two different computers okay for simplicity i will say the, both these are of different computers so that we cannot copy paste that now i am typing the first command that is sudo add apt repository space http the link of this website uh, so it, uh, just we are adding the path where uh, from where we want to download the software called open form okay so that's the first step that we want to give so just typing and press enter so that that will be added into the list uh, the software repository list and after that we want to uh, give the public key so that's the second one the second sentence uh, that you want to type that and actually we had installed the open form and everything in already so i'll be just uh, guiding through the installation process now since we had given uh, the sudo sim, uh, sudo that means the administrative privilege that will be asked for the password so we need to provide the password that you had given while installing the ubuntu yeah had given the password now the second command adding the public key okay so uh, the key is been added now moving on to the third step that we want to update the package that's been installed uh, that's command sudo apt get update so that's command that we are giving and we are updating so uh, remember one thing uh, while installing these things uh, our system must be connected to an internet uh, because all these things will be downloaded directly now moving on to the third step uh, that's uh, uh, we are going to install the open form that's command is sudo app get y install open form 30 that's other uh, version 3 is being installed open form version 3 is being installed now and actually we had installed as i told previously so that will be uh, showing that it's been already installed in this version uh, since uh, in your case that uh, that's not the case so um, we need to wait for some time for the installation to complete now I am going to install the, the another software called Paraview, and uh, that's been used for the pre-processing. Now one more thing: uh, after the installation of this open form, at the end we can see a link that's been that's been be given, saying that we want to copy paste that into a Bash RC. Okay, that I'll be showing now. So go to the home page. And we need to view the hidden files. So bash rc file will be always hidden in the home page. So uh, just click on the show hidden files. Uh, then only we will be able to see the bash rc files. Now select dot bash rc file. B a s h r c. Click on to that. And at the bottom of that I had already pasted this link that I had already given. Um, that's actually the path of that software where we had installed it okay so we need to specify where we had installed the open form then only it will be starting working so uh, you may find that at the end of the installation process or if you are following the installation process as i had shown here uh, the path of the path name will be same so that you can type at the end of the file now i am moving on to install a pre-processing software called salome just google salome for ubuntu now our operating system is 14.04 so the latest version of the ubuntu does not support that so we want the previous versions of the salome so just scroll down the page and click on the previous release so by this we are we had uh, installed open form paraview and now we are going to install salome okay by this we will be coming to the end of the process this is the last software that we are going to install yeah 
in the previous release 7.71 uh, supports ubuntu 14.04 so click on to the 7.71 version yeah now we can see linux ubuntu 14.04 64 bits so click on to that and uh, now we will uh, we can download software as a zip file so actually i had downloaded that so i am just cancelling that you can save that file in the folder now i had saved that in the downloads so that i am going to that downloads click downloads now we can see a zip file and now we need to extract that file and on the left side you can see the file that's been extracted now click on to that and inside that we can see a script file called salome s-a-l-o-m-e that's a file there on the second row third column now we want to run that file for opening the software now again go to the terminal and now we want to change the path of the terminal into this directory where the salome script file is there or you can just drag that file into the terminal and press enter so that we'll be able to open the salome now i am just uh, copy pasting the uh, path of this uh, folder uh, i mean the script file so that just cl click on control l we'll be able to get the path of that and just type cd space uh, paste the path and press enter now for running the salome script file the command is dot slash salome and press enter now we can open that software called salome and actually that's used for the pre-processing of the geometries before we are giving on to the open form software yeah that's salome now we, i'm closing that now we can type para view and press enter so that just we can see whether it is been installed or not this is a software that's used for post processing so yeah that's it now we had installed para view open form and salome now i am just closing all the terminals and shutting down this uh, virtual operating system as what we had uh, regularly do for our normal operating system that's the same procedure okay so i'm just shutting down that's it